Here's the way we do it. The re-refining process consists of two unit operations, distillation and hydro-treating. Distillation essentially involves boiling the oil at increasingly higher temperatures and lower pressures. This allows us to separate the oil by its boiling point. Lighter oils, such as fuels, boil first, while the heaviest material, such as asphalt extender, doesn't boil at all. Vaporized light oil, water, and ethylene glycol move from the dehydration unit to the light end's recovery tower, where they are further separated. The light oil is recycled and used to power our re-refinery, while ethylene glycol will eventually be used to make antifreeze. The wastewater is pre-treated in our wastewater treatment facility and then discharged to the local water treatment plant. The dehydrated oil then moves to the vacuum fuel stripper to produce fuel that is sold to industrial fuel burners and then to the vacuum tower where the oil is separated from another recycled and finished product, asphalt extender. At this point, the vacuum distilled oil enters the hydro treating unit. This high temperature, high pressure, catalytic hydro treating process allows hydrogen to not only react with the oil to give it its final chemical properties, but also combine with the remaining contaminants in the oil for further purification processes. The next step, is to remove the hydrogen and contaminants from the oil in the high pressure separator. After passing through the steam stripper, final oil separation occurs in the lube fractionation tower. This tower separates the oil into three different oil grades. Light viscosity lubricants suitable for general lubricant applications. Medium viscosity lubricants for automotive and industrial applications. And high viscosity lubricants for heavy duty applications such as diesel oil. The final step is to blend additives into these three grades of base oil to produce products with the right detergent and anti-friction qualities.